A 3D microscope magnifies them up to 200 times and reveals how extraordinarily complex the surface of a seed can be. No two species are the same. These images have been given artificial colors, but many of their shapes are beyond explanation. Some structures, however, have a clear function. They help the seed to achieve one of its main purposes, to travel. Many seeds rely on animal couriers. The American stick seed attaches itself to the fur or skin of passing animals with hooks and barbed spikes. The amazing sticking structures of such hitchhikers inspired the invention of Velcro. Some seeds carry a little packet of nutritious fat, which persuades an ant to take it back to its underground nest, where the seed, having surrendered its fatty reward to the ants, can germinate in safety. The seeds of orchids are minuscule and produced in their millions. They blow away like dust. In contrast, this much bigger seed has a large flat membrane which serves as a wing so that it can float great distances on the wind. Other wind dispersed seeds like the yellow paintbrush have a honeycomb texture. Such complex sculpturing enables seeds to catch the slightest wind current and ride thermals, traveling long distances from their mother plants. But these images also reveal the incredible toughness of the seed's outer capsule. This strength may be the key to the survival of all plants. For seeds can survive all kinds of hardship. This plant is called the pincushion and grows in South Africa. And this individual specimen is something of a miracle. In 1803, a British man of war captured a Dutch merchantman coming back from the Cape of Good Hope. And on board, in the cargo, they found a packet of seeds. When they got back to Britain, the seeds went to the Tower of London for quite a long time. But eventually, they found their way here to Kew. And one of them germinated and produced this plant after 200 years. It just shows how long seeds can survive, even without help. 